Starting this morning, wake up with Beyonce. Exclusive. And Leo. Exclusive. Starting this morning, Beyonce, Leo DiCaprio. Only on ABC's Good Morning America. Hello to our fans online. I'm Lindsay Janice. And I'm John Muller with the top stories on this Monday, May 6th. Airstrikes in Syria apparently fired from Israel are threatening to draw the United States into a Mideast conflict. Two attacks in two days reported targeting Iranian-made missiles and a military research facility. One Syrian official called the attacks a declaration of war. Now Israel is beefing up its defenses against the retaliation, or threat of it anyway, from Syria and Iran. The question now, will the U.S. be pressured to act? Investigators in Northern California are hoping the survivors of a deadly limousine accident will help them learn what went wrong. The limo was taking a newlywed bride and her friends for a night of celebrating when it burst into flames. Five women, including the new bride, died. Three others were pulled to safety by passing motorists. One woman managed to escape on her own. Millions of shoppers preparing to shell out a little extra when they go shopping online. The Senate is expected to pass the Internet tax bill today, and the measure would require most retailers to collect sales tax and pass it along to the state where the buyer lives. But the new rules would not apply to businesses with less than a million dollars a year in out-of-state sales. And take a look at what happened at one shopping mall in France when all the customers had gone home. Workers set up one of the biggest domino trains we've ever seen using pallets, videos, DVDs, books, even packages of rice and pasta when they reached the supermarket. The workers proved they've not, they're not just good at stacking shelves. The domino train ran through the entire mall uh, with uh, expert precision. I'll tell you what, if that happens in the States, you get fired for... Too much time on your hands. Absolutely, absolutely. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm John Muller. And I'm Lindsay Janis. Thanks for watching. This is World News Now, available anytime, anywhere you want it.